we're here on uh, one of our final edit sessions. So we've been cutting together three episodes. Uh, this is our lovely editor, Pip. <laughs> uh, we've been working hard to make them as, oh my God, awesome as possible. <laughs> yeah, we're currently just working on episode one. We've got the animate, oh, well, we've got an animation to start with. <laughs> uh, we're just working on the title sequence now a little bit. Yeah, we're getting really close. That's all I got for you, Dale. <laughs> hey, I'm Pip. I'm the editor of Nevernight. Uh, I've been working here with Jen for the last couple of weeks and it's going really well. Getting the balance right between the pacing on the sex scene and the murder. They're intercut together. They start out like having very different vibes and then sort of end up in the same kind of um, aggressive feel. <laughs> The courtyard scene's pretty nice. It's got really good coverage, so there's a lot of like options there and it's really pretty. It's nice watching um, the two characters like come together slowly. Like they start out kind of like not trusting each other and then slowly as they come together, you can see that they're gonna form a relationship. So that's kind of cool. So because our shoot got pushed back a little bit, Pip worked on it for two weeks and I just came in, I think for like, two of those days. Been working on this for, this will be like our third week? Fourth week? Third week? Third week. That could work with like, yeah, I feel like some cute. fresh music. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what song's gonna be like, cause it'll be like a real, this is like this song that they used to like make out with, just to get like what they <laughs> need it's gonna, like, it won't be this song, it won't be this so song. <laughs> even if we leave out of that shot, because I don't even love, like, the wide's not my favorite thing. She nah, really she looks rocks. too close yeah, as well. She looks nah, close it, I think she it'll looks have to be. Unsure, she feels so close. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't she just stab him like? Yeah, totally. In the next beat. Yeah, some feelings on that. Hated it. You hate the kissing. Yeah. Hated that why? Part. So Cut. what I actually didn't mind was the actual kiss. Mm -hmm. Like the kissing stuff was fine. I didn't live for their eyes. I hated their running away. Okay, cool. Hated the running away. All right, let's see if we ask that. Um, the thing is what, why I like the eyes is because in the book it's like his beautiful eyes and it'd be nice as a little nod to the book. Face I face. think even cutting this off so like they're literally like the, the like just pulling away of the kiss. Thing. Yeah, like let's just pull away from it. One thing I don't love about the eyes, did we end on Sweet Boy's eye before Nevernight? Yeah, yeah, it should be hers. Around. Yeah, just it's weird to not be her because she's the lead. Yeah, now I'm into it because it's like this horrific death of the father. And then it's like, and then it's like, oh, bound ship or wow, wow. And it's like, what's happening? We lock them, which is exciting. Um, and then we go into sound, uh, into music, into color. And um, due to there being a lot of VFX elements, we needed to leave a lot of time for VFX. So Caleb's gonna be working on that up until our release. Episode one had a total of uh, nine VFX shots. Episode two had a total of uh, 12 VFX shots. Episode three has a total of, um, of 30 VFX shots. So we just have her standing there taking the mask off with practical lightning effects, because uh, practical is always best. Um, and then along with that, we then also have a clean plate of the same angle. Um, and then that allows me to kind of make her invisible and reveal her as I, as I like. Uh, it's kind of this like glass distortion. You've then got this kind of like ripple. You've got some shadowy elements, the reveal. And then you ultimately also have this sort of smoke that dissipates from around, around her as she takes a step. While it is a pleasing angle uh, visually for camera, with the effects, it doesn't function as well as as prior. One of the reasons for that is the cat, which is made of shadows, slightly transparent. That transparency requires you to have something behind it to be able to see, otherwise it doesn't look transparent. If you haven't got something through and behind it to see that it's changing and bending light and doing all of these kind of really fun things, if you don't have stuff behind it to show that, then it kind of just looks like 
a flat cutout cat. So this shot in particular is a really interesting one because uh, it starts in front of a window for half a second and um, I think that's when it looks quite could. You can kind of see that bending of light, the shadowness, um, and a bunch of, that's a new word, um, and some other fun bits and pieces. But then as soon as he crosses over into the, uh, into the wall, into the shadow, uh, you kind of lose all of that from him. And he goes from looking like this kind of textured dimensional cat to just this uh, kind of black cutout. Mm. So I'd say that Mr. Kindly was both an easy and a hard effect to pull off. I think the longest render, the longest render was nine hours, the flip shot. Nave's costume is a little bit transparent with a bunch of texture, and that's a real shit time to try and cut out when you don't have a green screen. You can see in a shot like this, which is a relatively simple and unsuspecting shot, uh, we shot it towards the end of the day. The light was a little bit softer, um, sky's blue, um, wind calmed down a little bit, and uh, yeah, we had to make that match with sunset and make it seem like that happened 30 seconds after a sort of a fight in the middle of the day. So I guess there's a bunch of there's a bunch of hidden effects in uh, in Nevernight, and you know what? In like a lot of things in general that you see these days, and I think a lot of people take it for granted, but um, often you'll find a, the perfect location, and maybe something won't be quite. Right, and so uh, often it will end up being easier to remove it digitally than it will be to kind of fix it on the day because maybe it's a heritage listed site and you can't take something out or maybe it's a private property and you're not allowed to make any changes whatsoever. Um, you know, and sometimes there's just a laser machine uh, right in the middle of the courtyard that really breaks the illusion that you're in a fantasy world. Color grading often gets kind of, there's a couple of terms that get thrown around with it. Um, sometimes people call it color correction, sometimes people will call it color grading. I kind of consider them two slightly separate parts of the same process. You'll get some footage and it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look super flat out of camera and um, no one really likes the look at that. So then you give it some contrast uh, and it looks like this and this is what everyone looks at on the day and looks perfectly fine. But then sometimes it might be a little bit blue, it might be a little bit too green and so you balance it out um, to kind of get a neutral looking image and then slowly but surely you start to kind of layer up different effects. You'll add in some warmth, you're gonna add in some more contrast, you're gonna get some noise reduction in there to clean it up, add a little bit of texture, and um, all in all, you kind of end up with this as the final image. Color is kind of like, I mean, the joke one-liner is that uh, it's the Instagram filter of the commercial world. It's Photoshop for video, uh, for, for video. people call it a lot of different things, but basically you're kind of like the final, Final point in the process where you give a bit of a leave a bit of a creative mark on the on the footage for maybe like a 90 second or a two minute commercial. We'd usually allow a full day, so that's about two minutes full day. If you're grading a feature film, 90 minutes, you'd probably allow at least a week, ideally two. Something like um, Avengers, which is three hours long, you're going to be there for a long time. I would say that realistically in the end, for the Nevernight grade, I think we had, I think I probably put in about 30 hours. Maybe a little bit more, maybe maybe like 45 hours, which is the equivalent of four days for 24 minutes of footage. It's an interesting one because honestly looking at it, I feel like it was a little bit rushed. And don't get me wrong, I'm still, happy with how it looks and I think it looks really really great you know ideal world when you're wearing multiple hats you just don't have the luxury of time a little bit more yep and then this one <laughs> <laughs> yeah. today as uh, consummate yeah. professionals but the best part is people will think that it's green for like green screen reasons it's not it's just green today we are shooting the Nevernight poster we have Emma and we have Katie B Emma is our makeup for today Katie B is our wonderful photographer as I was saying earlier any decent photo you've ever seen of me was taken by Katie B because she makes it she makes it Thank you. just flawless just love working with you but yeah this look is... at this face though to work oh. with to be honest <laughs> <laughs> don't <get it> back. <laughs> we're referencing this image because <laughs> we love it so much so we're gonna try that first all right what you need from me 
I, I'd just go, yeah, I'd just play with a little bit down, sort of, if you're gonna go away from camera, mm -hmm. keep it very minimal in this area mm -hmm. um, from the lens. Um, and then, um, but if you are looking away, I'd probably go actually this side. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Off because of cat. <laughs> really nice and soft in that artwork. Yeah. I'm gonna have, have to be here again. <laughs> the shoulder a little. Yeah. But nice and soft here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they killed my dad and my mom. I'm gay. She is. No, nah, that's not. I was gonna say skin blow, so I'm flicking. <laughs> I'd like it on my face though. <laughs> in these, in in these scenarios. scenarios. Um, Sorry, you've just made my entire life. I'm very happy. God, I wish we had a real cigarette because that would, that would <laughs> well, look so will, fucking sick. Yeah, it will. Yeah, yeah, it will be so beautiful. I think that's like the last Nevernight thing we have to do. No, surely not. Um, so that's a wrap on the Nevernight poster shoot. Huge thanks to Katie B, whose link. Wow, well, fuck. Huge thanks to Katie B, whose work we will link as well. And huge thanks to Emma for helping out. And I hope you guys enjoy the poster when it comes out because it looks fucking sick. Yay! It's gotta stop doing weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot that I did a whole the matte painting behind that shot. That was all green on the day. Forgot about that entirely. That's a thing that happened. There you go. That's a good sign if you just forget that you did something. 27th of no uh, September was the first uh, first VFX shot, and um, I can tell you now that I was still doing VFX on the day that the first episode went live. <laughs> 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 <laughs>